All right, we're gonna show you Edward Fenninger lying and twisting Ezekiel 18 to say that, oh, it's just about physical salvation. It's not about someone losing their salvation. It's not teaching works in the Old Testament to back up his satanic, wicked heresy that salvation is by faith alone, and it's always by faith alone in every dispensation. A very, very wicked satanic heresy. It is not true biblical dispensationalism. It's a perverted, antichrist, satanic form of dispensationalism. A, a false version of dispensationalism, I'll put it that way. But here he is, twisting Ezekiel 18 and lying about what it's saying. Watch this. He lives by doing Ezekiel 18. Let's look at Ezekiel 18. He lives. See, see, they've already in, they've inserted a definition. He lives. What do you mean he lives? He means he lives eternally? No, he lives physically. Oh, but Ed, if he dies, see, he, you know, they, 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 the souls are connected to the body, and if they die, they can go well, straight to uh, torments because he has to. Do. But he's going to give you Ezekiel 18. But as long as I hold for King James Bible, it's okay. You see. Ezekiel 18, what's the see what Ezekiel 18 has to say? More of Ezekiel's commission, subheading. More of Ezekiel's commission from the Lord. Does that sound like a, a chapter talking about anybody's eternal life? Now he goes here, 1820. This verse cannot refer to the physical death as well as uh, as, as well as the spiritual death. Oh, it says here the verse. This verse could refer to physical death as well as spiritual death, since the word "soul" is equated with the physical life in the Old Testament. In other words, it could be physical death. They automatically associate the spiritual death, but the soul is associated with the physical death in the, uh, the uh, Old Testament. So he has to admit that. They're not going to tell you that here. So in his own footnote, he admits, oh, this could be a physical death. It would seem that uh, Fenninger, in the book that he's reading, seemed to miss a few things about Ezekiel 18, Ezekiel 18 the next couple of verses. Here's what he missed. Okay? Ezekiel chapter 18, verses 20 to 27. The soul that sinneth, it shall die. The son shall not bear the iniquity of the father, neither shall the father bear the iniquity of the son. The righteousness of the righteous shall be upon him, and the wickedness of the wicked shall be upon him. But if the wicked will turn from all his sins that he hath committed, and keep all my statutes, and do that which is lawful and right, he shall surely live, he shall not die. All his transgressions that he hath committed, they shall not be mentioned unto him, and in his righteousness that, that he hath done, uh, he shall live. Have I, any, have I any pleasure that the wicked, that all the wicked... At all the wicked, sorry, at all that the wicked should die, saith the Lord God, and uh, not that he should turn from his ways and live. In verse 24. And the, but when the righteous turneth away from his righteousness and committeth iniquity, and doeth according to all the abominations that the wicked man doeth, shall he live? All his righteousness that he hath done shall not be mentioned. In his trespass that he has he hath trespassed, and in his sin that he has sinned, in them shall he die. Yet say, yet ye say, the way of the Lord is not equal. Here now, a house of Israel, it is not my, is not my uh, way equal, or are not your ways equal. When a righteous man turneth away from his righteousness and committeth iniquity and dieth in them, for his iniquity that he hath done, uh, sh shall he die. Again, when a, look at this. Again, when the wicked man turneth away from his wickedness that he hath committed and doeth that which is lawful and right, he shall save his soul alive. It's interesting how Fenninger won't quote those verses and won't deal with those verses. Okay? Notice how verse 24 says, In his sin that he has sinned, in them shall he die. What does it mean to die in your sins? You go to hell. So you have a righteous man there. If a righteous man turning from his righteousness, so you have a saved righteous man, he turns from his righteousness and commits sin, and he dies in his sin. He lost his salvation. That's what happened there. Because turning from your sin is works. Okay? It was works salvation there. Turning from your sin is works. According to Jonah chapter 3 and verse 10, you can read that verse. Turning from your sin is works salvation. It is a form of works. Okay? So when turning from your iniquity, turning from your sin, they're working. They're doing works, and it's preventing them from dying in their sins. That's simple. Again, Jonah 3.10 shows that turning from sin is works. And also notice how verse 27 because Ed Fenninger says, oh, it was about physical salvation. It was just about physical salvation. Notice how verse 27 says that when a wicked man turns from his wickedness, it says, he shall save his soul. 
alive. He's talking about saving your soul, salvation of the soul. This is not about physical salvation, in other words. So, just showing how Ed Fenninger lies and twists scripture to suit his satanic heresy that salvation is always by faith alone in every dispensation. I mean, you can go in a time of Jacob's trouble and you're saved by faith alone. Who cares about taking the mark? You know, and of course, he'll lie and say, well, no true Christians would take the mark, which I addressed in my other, one of my other videos that if a true Christian knows it's the mark and takes it anyway, you know, are they still saved? And he has yet to answer that question because they can't. Because either, in order to answer that question, you have to either say, yes, they will lose their salvation or... They, they will still be saved when taking the mark, thus calling God a liar in Revelation 14, 9 through 11, because he said if any man takes the mark, they go to hell. No exceptions. So, they can't answer that because it contradicts their heresy that salvation is always by faith alone. So don't believe this, this uh, heretic Ed Fenning, or don't believe this salvation, this heresy that salvation is always by faith alone. It's wicked. It is demonic. It is false doctrine. So, don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.